right. All right. This is fine. This is fine. Nobody panic. Just, you know, as we look around at everything that's currently around us, I swear I was just looking at my notes for just a moment. And the next thing you know, I hear a little squeaking. And I look up, and what do I see? Um. Um. <laughs> There's so many of them! You guys, look at all of these Igly Tufts. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Like, do you, do you all need, like, a daycare or something? Like, what is going on? <laughs> okay, okay, I actually haven't counted them yet. So we have one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, honorary fletchling in the background. Uh, nine, 10, 11. So there, we are currently surrounded. Let me make sure, oof, let me make sure nobody's behind us. Nobody's behind us. Oh, hello, friend. <laughs> we are currently surrounded by 11 Iggly Tufts. This is absolutely, completely, utterly adorable. I love this. This, this is, this is cinched it, friends. This is all I ever needed in life. It, like, I had no idea this is what I wanted, but being surrounded by this many cute Pokemon all at once and they're all just staring at you adorably. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I, I know already that I have gotten everything I could have hoped for out of our adventures here in Violet. Uh, but we do still have a lot of adventures to go on and I haven't even gone to the school yet. Oh, what a busy couple days. All right, everybody. Bye-bye! It was really nice to meet all of you! Oh my gosh, they're so cute. And we also actually- whoops, that's the map. <clears throat> we- oh my gosh, there's that happening again! Taunted! Do we- oh no. Oh, can I actually find some of them over here? Okay, hang on again, friends. I don't know why I have gotten it in my head that- <gasps> Sunburn! Come into my life, little ones! Oh no, we're never going to get to school, are we? I can't believe we can get so many amazing Pokemon just right out the bat right now. All right, come on, Jade Leaf. We absolutely have to get this little one. Come on, yes! I mean, how could you resist this cute little seed plant Pokemon? Oh, I just, I can't get enough of it. Also, I can't get enough about how I'm apparently like making everybody go into conniption fits for calling birds birds and plants plants, but that's okay. <laughs> Those of you guys who miss out on the fact I can indeed troll, uh, you make it even more entertaining, so thank you. <laughs> but alright, so Sunkern, the seed Pokemon, plant type, obviously. <clears throat> it is very weak. Its only means of defense is to shake its leaves desperately at its attacker. So it sounds like the Magikarp of plants, to be honest, even though it's like a foot tall. I'm pretty sure it could just fall on some of the other Pokemon and like spook them off. Uh, and let's not give this guy a nickname just yet, because I want to see... I actually don't think I have ever had a Sunkern, I'm pretty sure. He's docile and it scatters things often. <gasps> That's so cute. Oh, what am I going to name you, little one? I have no idea. I'm going to go ahead and send him to the boxes for now, because we do have a pretty... Oh, yes! Oh, I love it. I just cannot get over how cool the little book thing is. Oh, and I just got it. They're books because we are actually uh, like students. So that makes sense why we have books for the Pokemon. Uh, like, that's so adorable. Also, I loved that you guys thought it was a really cute idea that I think the Pokeballs are just like left. Ooh, a netball. Good for water or bug types. Nice. Um, oh, hey, Lechonk. Aren't you just adorable? Who's up here? I've, I've got I've to gotta investigate just a little bit more, and then I promise we'll turn around. Um, let's see, anybody on this hillside? Wow. Okay, that's actually really pretty. <laughs> Alright, look. I was pretty dubious when we were first starting, but I have to admit that everything is really growing on me. I'm really falling in love with all of this, and of course... Okay, that's the map again. <clears throat> okay, uh, there we go. And of course, I have fallen in love with so many of our Pokemon too. Our little Jade Mint and Mimi. And here is Echo. So I wanted to go ahead and introduce all of you to Echo, our normal fairy type Igglytuff, who I believe, uh, who, yeah, Igglybluff, pardon me, uh, is just so stubborn. 
So I thought that this little one was going to just be, you know, out in the boxes. But for those of you guys not familiar with our <clears throat> immersive roleplay experience that we do here in the Pixel Biology community, every now and then a uh, creative inspiration hits me and a character takes on life of their own and we have to go ahead and complete their quest before we can, we can like do anything else. And in this case, I realized that Iggly Buff is actually the first one who just jumped out and clung to my leg and will not let go because this little iggly buff wants to stay with us until they learn the move uh sweet kiss until they until we are able to give them a little kiss like earn enough trust from them to get a little kiss and then they will feel safe and they will feel like okay now they can go to the boxes and wait like they can go play in whatever fields like we're renting i i really hope that like when we put our pokemon in the boxes we're actually paying like a monthly subscription fee <laughs> <laughs> to have someone take them out and play with them because I, I mean that's I, I guess that's what the daycare is for <sighs> or maybe they just go into stasis all right, I really got to stop thinking too hard about it. Point being that our adorable Iggly buff actually is very nervous. She's pretty shy, even though she has, uh, oh, she's lax with capable of taking hits. Um, but you know, she's, she's a little bit shy and she just wants to know we care about her before we go ahead and rotate her out of the party. So she is gonna have to stay with us until we are able to get her up to the level where she learns the move Sweet Kiss, which I think is adorable ah, and if you guys aren't here for the role play i don't know why you're here but i do hope you're having a good time also Cinna, i need to go ahead and change Cinna's name a lot of you guys said that the name bagel would have been perfect for her uh so i tell you what we'll catch another one we'll catch a little boy maybe or honestly just the next one and there we go. Cinnabun Bun is this one, but we will indeed get one and name them Bagel. Also, Knit is so cute. I really want to get him leveled up too. <laughs> but all right, it is clear and obvious. <gasps> Squivet! 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 I was going to say I was going to go back. I'm not going to go back. I need this Squivet in my life. Oh. Oh my goodness. You guys don't understand how much I love Squivets. Okay. 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 Jademan. Jademan. We're going to try to get this one, okay? Like, legitimately, I spend half of my real life days just staring at squirrels. <gasps> yes! It's shrimp! You guys! It is the squivet named Shrimp after the adorable baby squirrel that Chips and I actually got to watch grow up right outside of our living room window in a dray, which is the big piles of leaves that gray squirrels make as nest. And there is a tiny little baby who is now like entering his juvenile hood, who lives behind our house in a tree hole in a dray. And we named him Shrimp because he is so small and so cute and he was eating a pine cone and making it look like a shrimp one day. And his brother is named Scampy. Uh, oh, should this be Shrimp or Scampy? Um, let's go with Shrimp. Because I want to name him after, like, the adorable squirrel we currently have. And for those of you who remember our OG amazing squirrel, uh, Patches, from when Chips and I lived in Michigan, you guys... Yeah, you're pretty amazing. But all right, back into the immersive part of the roleplay. Squivet, the cheeky Pokemon. No matter how much it stuffs its belly with food, it's always anxious about getting hungry again. So it stashes berries in its cheeks and tail. Oh, I actually love that this one's a boy because we do happen to have our female Squivet from our Pokemon Sword and Shield adventures that I would love for Shrimp to go ahead and meet one day. And like, yeah, that, that ingredient we had she actually, we're, of course we're adding to party. Absolutely adding to party. All right, Mimi, we're gonna swap you out for just a second because I am going to swap you for another rodent. Oh, that, that is deep life satisfaction right there. And I was going to say like, oh yes, I'm on my way to class now. Um, but clearly I got majorly distracted because <laughs> there's a squivet, come on. Oh, but we should raise Shrimp up. We should raise him up so that he can become super like amazing and proud and somebody who is able to potentially be uh, maybe a good partner for our wonderful Greedent from our Pokemon Sword and Shield adventures. Mm -hmm. Just saying. But all right, let's go ahead. I'm going to gather up just a couple more things. Make sure we're not missing any new Pokemon types. Ah, oh, there we go. Potion. Also, Jademan, if you want to come out, you're welcome to battle anybody that you want. I think we might come up and do a battle with this hiker. She's got a shiny Pokeball. 
Oh, she's very tall. I'll tell you all you need to know about hiking. Rule one, work those legs. Rule two, work those legs. <laughs> also, rule three, like bring enough, bring enough to drink, I suppose. Hiker Lucia. It'd be really fun if you could re-challenge some of these people. <gasps> A roly poly! Uh-oh. Well, no, I think I think we should be okay. I think we should be strong against that type, right? Let's double check this. Yes! Super effective! Oh, he's really cute here. Yes, a pile of rocks with an eyeball is cute. I can forgive the eyeball. Oh, well, that was it. Hey, thanks, Lucia. You want to know the third and fourth rules? There are none. It's all legs, kiddo. <laughs> Thank you for the money. I needed that. Any other little... Wait, what's that? What's this? Oh, what's you? What are you? Oh, that's a moral? What are you? Wait, what are you? What on earth are you? Hold up. Like, I've got a... This is this is kind of suspicious, friends. Alright, no, 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 those are the uniforms. Oh my gosh, I'm so old. I'm gonna get this eventually. Oh my word, are you kidding me? Come on, Siri. There, alright. Wait, what is this? You look like a little head with, like, no legs. What are you? See, this is good. We needed to go ahead and we needed to come and be part, whoops, and we needed to be part of this world's exploration team before I got to the school, because I have no idea what these little guys are. Let's see. And that would be very embarrassing as a Pokemon professor to like not know what some of these basics are. All right. There we go, sorry. <laughs> Eventually, oh, Jademan fell asleep because I took so long taking pictures. Oh, why is that the most precious thing? All right, I'm gonna very gently, hello? Jaden, I have no idea what this is. It kind of looks like a gas mask. A shrewdle? I'm only gonna stop when I run out of Pokeballs, aren't I? <laughs> oh, hey, there's another shrewdle behind us, too. Oh, cool, I wanted to come join the family. Neat. All right, good. I need to like frantically make some notes in my notebook. So when we get like to the school, I'm gonna be somewhat of it. Wait, Peep learned Ember. Oh, I forgot Fletching's also fire type. <gasps> That's so cool. Shrewdle, to keep enemies away from its territory, it paints markings around its nest using a poisonous liquid that has an uh, like an acidic odor, or not acidic, acrid? Acrid odor, odor. Oh my gosh, that is a toxic mouse? <laughs> That's so cool! Oh, like, I kind of want to name it, like, after a paintbrush or something. Uh, like, Dob. Uh, I feel like Dob would be good, but I, let's check out the personality first. Dang! So, female. Female Shrudel. Uh, and she is gentle and silly. Oh, Maybe we'll give her the name of, like, a famous artist or some sort of, like, other, other, like, painting technique. Wow, painting with poison. She'd get along with like all those people who were using arsenic in their paint years ago. Oh dear, and like it's almost been a whole nother adventure and I'm, I've just run around in circles. <gasps> Bonsley! 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 Oh, Bonsley. Oh my gosh, what was that? Was that a new type of mudkip? Oh, we're never going to get to class. <laughs> the only thing that is going to hold me back do you remember the pseudo wood the pseudo wood that we used to have who would carry all of our bird types on his branches? We have just like caught his his distant cousin. Whoops. Alright, we're stuck here. Oh my gosh, it's in a bun bun. She wants to learn the move covet? Well, let's check out what that is. Uh so covet, the user endearingly approaches the target, then steals the target's held item. <gasps> Just like the dachshunds! And if you guys have never heard my rant about dachshunds, then do please check out our most recent Labarkatory episode where we actually crossbred a tiger and a dachshund. I explain the entire sword tell there. Uh, and she's actually got good, good attack, I think. Uh, build your own tempo. What would you want to forget if it was you? Growl? That's actually what I was thinking about doing too. So... And wait a second, did Cinnabun Bun actually have like a poison type move? And I haven't noticed that yet. Bonsley! From its eyes, it can expel excess moisture from its body. This liquid is similar in composition to human sweat. Hmm. Interesting. Whoops. Oh, and Bonsley, I didn't actually have a name ready for you yet, buddy. 
Uh, let's actually look at your personality. Yeah, rock type, fake tears. He's also sturdy, so he's never going to get 100% knocked out in a single hit. Rash and defiant. Ooh, so we actually have kind of like a prickly little Bonsley tree to deal with here. Man, I really want to level him up too. I'm falling in love with all of these guys. Every time I'm like, sure, 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 sure. We're gonna get back to class, gonna get back to class. <laughs> Something like this happens and we are not getting back to class. I'm spending my time running around catching all of these new Pokemon. All right, hello, little Mudkip, who looks a little different than usual. Hi! So who do we have here? Oh, it's a Whopper, not a Mudkip. Oh gosh. Yeah, maybe I do need to brush up on my, um, my Pokemon, like, notes before I try to go and teach the exams to students. Oh! Okay, this little guy is- oh, he's cute. Alright, he is- what level? Because Jadenmint might be getting too tough. Oh, actually? Okay, Jadenmint, a careful bite. Alright, alright. Oh no, poison point! <gasps> no! Okay, that is going to be what actually sends us back home. <laughs> and poison tail! <gasps> you guys don't know it, but actually my jaw is like on the ground right now. Okay, um, uh, Pokeball? This guy's a lot tougher than I expected. Why is everything poisonous? That, that kind of is the running theme right now, isn't it? <laughs> everything is very poisonous and I am slightly concerned. Wow. It's dangerous for Whopper to travel alone. Whooper to travel alone. They line up in groups of three or four and help each other as they walk around the wetlands. Poison and ground, poison fish Pokemon. Wow. All right, let's send you to the boxes too, my friend. I'm not sure if you're really my friend though, because you poisoned my my precious like Jade Mint. How do we have so many Jade Mint? Get back in the Pokeball. All right. Jeez, there are a lot of them. <gasps> I'm never gonna get out of here. I'm never gonna get out of here. Now there's another Pokemon I need to get. But Jademan's sick. I need to get out of here. Oh, and I think the little, it's the little Chomper Turtle. All right, last one. Last one, then I swear we will go ahead and we will switch and let's actually grab Peep. And Peep is gonna take over for Jademan. Oh, wait, there he went. Come back, little turtle. I need you in my life. Okay. You managed to scramble back out of the water. Alright, got a little dunk, but can. Go, Peep! Peep, can you get him? I mean, she can fly. So, technically. Alright, probably time for us to go, even though I'm, I've been pretty proud about us catching every single one of the Pokemon. Okay, this is too cool. Having our flying types like zoom around our heads like this. All right. Yep. Back to being completely and utterly enchanted and in love. And also staring. <gasps> New turtle! <laughs> staring aggressively at these turtles in the hopes that we'll be able to catch them. Come along, my. Oh, you so angry. Yes, I forgot about how angry these guys would get. The turtle. Chewtles. I probably should have weakened it first because this is my last Pokeball, but. I mean, technically it's like a water type, right? Yes! All right, that has done it. <laughs> now that my pockets are literally overflowing with our snapping Pokemon, a popular game among children is to lift up sticks that Chewtle have bitten into to see whose Chewtle can hang on the longest. That is so cute. All right, there. I, I feel pretty confident that this is the most number of Pokemon I have ever caught before even properly getting started on anything ever. Um, and now I'm out of Pokeballs. And also Jade Mint needs healed. So the only thing to do is to go ahead and carry on with our missions. Oh wait, I have a Pokeball again. <laughs> we can continue the adventure. But all right guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope that um, Bevy of Little Iggly Buffs didn't worry you too much. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye